Okay, so if you get them, oops, if you get them in a coin, like this, you can use a level 1 super. Uh, you can't get it outside, you can't get this from mid screen. So let's say I was on the one corner. Ah, God. Oh. So awkward. Oh. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Sorry, guys. Sorry. There we go. And I can't use the level 1 super because if I if I input the motion as soon as I can, then I'm gonna get the fireball on the wrong side. If I wait for him to be on the right side before I do the super motion, the super's gonna whiff. then the super is gonna whiff because it's gonna be too late for the super to connect. So the only way to complement to the super is to use the EX version. And that time I still didn't wait the long. Oh. I just messed up. But it's possible to combo into the EX Super, uh. but yeah, you just gotta have to trust me on that. But yeah, the way you can end that combo is jumping bow back, uh, CDP, or, e or or level one Super if you get them in a corner. The most optimal one is in the corner, of it, obviously, for just two bars and one drive, and that lands you like 518 damage. So it's a very good mid-screen combo to use, a very good combo to remember. But uh, if you don't want to learn that, um, you know, for whatever reasons, you don't, you don't want to mess it up, okay. or you're not used to charging a fireball right after doing that, uh, charging the fly kicks after doing the fireball, you know what they could do to this combo? You could do either, you could use, you could combo into his level 1 super, you could do it from the fireball, you could do it from his DPs, um, DP does a little more damage. Yeah. It's not very optimal because like either way you just gotta get like get you 360. Combo, yeah. yeah, you're gonna get a little bit under 400 damage, which is decent for one bar one drive. If you wanna save the drive, you just combo into the super. Like that. Yeah. Uh, there are a variety of other ways to combo mid-screen so for example I go to this into CDP could do it into fly kicks oh I'm trying to do this falcon kick ha huh, god damn <laughs> <laughs> there we go Ooh. so with two bars and one drive from the mid-screen you could get that which is plenty of good damage. Uh, alternatively, though, I think this one also does good damage. Hold on. Yeah, I think it, yeah, it did like a little less damage than the other one. Like this. Yeah, there we go. So for mid screen, you could spend two bars to get this combo and one drive. Uh, so that's it for big screen combos. You know, just all the combos I showed you, but you know, it's up to your preference which one you want to use, basically. In the corner, you can get this one, it's EX Command Drive, so A Fireball. Oops, uh, I meant to use level 1, but that works too. Yeah, that works too. <laughs> uh, the level 1, I believe it's like 400 ish. And you spend that extra bar for the kill. Yeah, you can spend the extra bar for the kill. But uh, this is a pretty good coin combo to use. It doesn't do as much as the one I showed you outside the corner. I mean, like, it's just one, it's one thing to know about. If you want to just use one bar and that's it, then... Let's see. Yeah, it is good for just one bar, actually. Alright, so another thing you do is CDP into his Falcon Pick in the air. The timing is a little bit weird, though. There we go. Mm. Oh, I look like I was going to drop. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to get this combo because the level 1 super starts off really slow. And also the Falcon K drive cancel is sort of weird. But if you can do it consistently, you know, with one bar, one drive in a corner, you can easily get 430-ish damage, which is really good. Mm. Uh, another combo you can do is this into... Oops. God damn. Oh. I'm trying to jump again and do the Falcon kick. There we go. There we go. Mm. So with one bar one drive, you can also do that if you want. Um, you know, like I said, Robert has a lot of ways to combo. 
it's just really up to you, your play style, and how you want to use your bar, which combos you're most comfortable with. But yeah, so as Robert, you generally want to, the way you generally want to play is just use his normals to annoy your opponent. He's very good normals. And yes. control the air. Cancel yes. your normals with fireballs. Yeah. It's yeah. Most pressure. Basically, yeah. So sweep and blow back into fireballs, basically. You do a lot of shenanigans with Robert. Control the air with his jumping blowback, and then when they're not, you know, jumping anymore, jumping on them with very with your good air to ground almost like this. You can also jump 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 in twice like this. Oops. You know, double jump ins or even double tacos like this, and then mix it up with lows. You know, and then surprising with command grabs every now and then. Basically, you want to be constantly switching out your playstyle. Robert has all the tools, basically. He's got good pokes, he's got a fireball, and he's got a command grab. So, as long as you just know your tools and know how to use Robert. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and an easy cross-up kick. So, like, um, you know, there's one drawback is sort of low damage output because he does need better, finer execution for his higher damage combos and he does need a healthy amount of like mid-screen distance to do his optimal one bar, one drive combo which is this. Not that one. <laughs> yeah, not that one. <laughs> it's this one. Ah, god damn. Fucking shit. I think, I used to get this all the time. But, uh, I don't know why I saw it books. There we go. Yes. Yeah, it's uh, it's not really a hard combo, it's just um, the, the situation for it. You have to, first of all, you have to be kind of close. If you do it a little bit further, it's gonna whiff. Yeah, like the DP, like, like if he's in the air already, you can't drive cancel anymore. You have to be close enough so that you can drive cancel when he's still on the ground. Second thing is, um, Let's see, you know, like I said, if you're already in a corner, you can't get that combo anymore. But then, like, you know, you don't want to give up the corner just to get that combo, right? That's counterintuitive. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, one weakness is just that low damage output in general. But he's got really good normals. He's got projectiles. He's got all sorts of tools. An invincible DP. His, this is only non-bar, uh, yeah, his only wake-up option. Aside from, if you yeah, use bar... Super. Yeah, if you use bar though, he does have EXDP and EX Super, but that's about it. He can't do like wake up command grabs. So he does have limited wake up options. On the other hand though, um it's oops. On the other hand though, he does have his back dash. And it's not invincible on wake up, I'm just showing that it's a viable escape tool. So you can start zoning again. But yeah, just annoy your opponent with your good normals, jump in often, control space with jumping blowback, and constantly switch up between jumping in and you know coming in with the, with the aerial normals. But yeah, um, you just gotta know your character, basically. Right, Gordon? Yeah. Right. Something I'm not very good at. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll just leave off with the HD combo. Basic HD combo. Yeah, basic HD combo. Um, where is it, this one? There we go, alright. Fuck shit. Oh god. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so just three four HD and god damn. <laughs> <laughs> With four HD and three bars, either around seven hundred damage, a little o a little over seven hundred. Basic yeah. combo. Yeah, pretty simple actually. Actually, I forgot to cover his command. Uh, so his Neo Max. Oh, so that Neo Max. It's invincible on wake up. You can also do it in the air. It does not track, so you can't use it from full screen like mice. Oops. Oh god. <laughs> and also, if you block or whiff it, you're mostly safe. A neat little trick with that Neo Max is like, yeah. in some in some combos. You can get the damage without going into that. Yeah. Yeah. And then leaving you with the ability to combo. Yeah. 
that's it.